Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing the easiest fringe earrings. And here's everything you need to get started. Miyuki beads are essential for this tutorial. To get started, grab your needle and some thread. We're gonna need about four feet or around a meter. To thread my needle, I hold the thread in my non-dominant hand and use my dominant hand to direct the needle and it's a lot easier. Pull the thread through so the needle is halfway and it is all folded over. Then we're gonna wax one end of the thread. So we're gonna grab one foot of the end like so and just wax that section. And now we can get started with brick stitch. So we're gonna grab four beads on our needle to get started. Then carefully pull the beads down the needle and thread until you get near the end, but make sure to leave yourself a few inch tail. And then I'm gonna put my needle through the first two beads like so, so we create a loop. So the two beads are in two rows next to each other. Then we're gonna make sure that tail is about four to six inches long. You don't want it too short. Then to finish this first section, we're gonna put our needle down through the beads next to where it already was like so. So now both our threads are coming out the bottom of the bead. And then we can go ahead and add two at a time to start our base row. Then I'm gonna go through the beads like so, creating a circle with my thread. As you can see, it's looping around. So I'm putting my needle in the opposite end where the thread is coming out. And then when you pull it, you'll see that the two beads should again sit next to the other two beads. Then go up those two beads. And that's how we add on to our first row. Build the base row two beads at a time, repeating these same steps again and again until we have a base row that is seven beads across like this. Another recommended step is to then go back through all of your beads to help them be extra secure. So I'm just weaving back and forth on our base row to get it nice and stiff, and then we can start our next row. Whenever we start a new row, we're gonna start with double the beads. So I'm gonna grab four beads to continue our double stack pattern. Then our next row, we are going to use the stitches between the beads as our anchor. So you can see first stitch, second stitch. I'm gonna go through the second stitch since we have double the beads and we're starting a new row. So just pull like so, and you'll see they're kind of sitting nicely. Now put your needle through the last two and you'll see that they create our new row. An optional step I do is I secure with an extra stitch. So I go back down through the other beads and then up through the beads on the right side, like so. I find this makes it look a little bit extra perfect, which if you're a perfectionist, you'll love. If you're looking for speed, you can just skip that step. For the remainder of the row, we'll go two beads at a time and we're gonna go through the next loop. The next we only skip when we are doing the first beads on the row. From here, we're gonna do two at a time and it's gonna be through the next available stitch. Now just keep on doing your brick stitch until we get to the top when we have a three bead row, just like this one. So you can see it's three double stacks. Now you can either do four beads as your hook or you can use a thread protector or wire guard like I am here. So I'll show you how to use it. Just put your needle up through one side and then over down the other side into the brick stitch, like so. And I like to use these because they are extra secure, whereas sometimes your earring hook can fall off of the beadwork if you don't have a wire guard. Make sure the thread is sitting in that guarded area and not falling out. This will make sure it is fully secured. Then I'm gonna weave my way down to the base row so we can add our fringe. And we've done all the hard steps, now it's time for the quick, easy final step. Then I'm gonna use my pattern to map out my fringe. Go check out my last video if you wanna learn how to do this. And then we can get started. This way I know exactly how many beads I need for each row, all counted out and ready to go. 
So following the pattern, I need to grab five beads, one silver bead, and then alternate colors. And then finally with the last section to add 10. Use a piece of paper to cover the rest of your pattern so you can focus one fringe at a time. Once your fringe is done, move one bead away and then go up the rest of the beads and the two beads in your base row. Then pull your needle through and all of your thread so your fringe is nicely secured and pull any excess thread out, but try not to pull too tight. Then you're gonna go down the next bead in our base row, go down and pull a little bit snugger here. There you go. And now repeat this with the remaining fringes. Then we just have the final step of tying our thread off. If you're liking this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to see more of my videos. Two thirds of you guys watching aren't subscribed, so please make sure to do so. It really helps out my channel and I would super appreciate it. Thank you, let's get back to the video. Now that we finished our final fringe, we're gonna take our thread and just continue to weave it through the brick stitch section of our earring. So you can see I'm working my way up and then I wanna create kind of a zigzag pattern. Check out the example on screen to see what I mean and then just trim off the excess and repeat the same step with the tail that you have remaining from the beginning of the project. Now all we have to do is add the earring hook and the earrings are done. I just use my pliers, open it up and pop it right onto the thread protector. Boom, and they are nice and secure. They will not fall off these hooks. It's super easy. This took me about 20 minutes to make this earring. It shouldn't take you too long and I'm sure that you will do a great job and make something beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. As always, have a beautiful day.